What is REST API? REST is an API architecture style. REST API stands for Representational State Transfer Application Programming Interface. REST API is also known as a RESTful API or RESTful Web Services. REST specifies how data is presented to a client in a format that is convenient for the client. It's an API that uses HTTP requests such as GET, PUT, POST, and DELETE methods on data. List the RESTful API architectural constraints. REST defines six architectural constraints which make any web service a true RESTful API. Uniform interface, interface between clients and servers. Client-server, it means that client application and server application must be able to evolve separately without any dependency on each other. Stateless, it means server does not remember anything about the user who uses the APIs. Cacheable, it means that the data the server sends contain information about whether or not the data is cacheable. If the data is cacheable might contain some sort of aversion number. Layered system the client may connect to intermediate layers, which might not aware beforehand dot so those layers can enforce security, do load balancing, provide caching etc. Code on demand, optional, it means servers can also provide executable code to the client. What are the HTTP methods? The HTTP method. Differing HTTP methods can be used on any endpoint which map to application create, read, update, and delete, CRUD, operations. HTTP method CRUD action. Get read returns requested data. Post create creates a new record. Put or patch update updates an existing record. Delete delete deletes an existing record. What are HTTP headers? The Relativity REST API requires a minimal number of standard fields in the HTTP header for a request. For more information about how headers are used, see supported HTTP methods. CSRF the cross-site request forgery, CSRF, field must be included in requests and set to blank, empty string. This field provides basic security by preventing malicious parties from scanning your REST endpoint. See the following example. XCSRF header, empty or blank value. If you omit this header field, the request fails. Content type this header field can be set to application DSO, application DSO, chasset UTF-8, or text DSO. See the following sample. Content type, application DSO. Authorization this header field is required if you are using basic or active directory authentication. What do you know about JXRS? JXRS stands for Java API for RESTful Web Services. It is a set of Java APIs for building web services conforming to the REST related. It is also support bean validation. Typically, it is used for XML or JSO data exchange. Some of JSRS frameworks are Jersey, ARIA Split, Apache CXF, REST Easy, Play, etc. What is use of URI? URI stand S for Uniform Resource Identifier. It is the identifier for the resource in REST architecture. What are the pros and cons statelessness? In the above question, we have understood the meaning of statelessness with respect to the client-server communication. Now, let us see some of its advantages and disadvantages. Pros Every method required for communication is identified as an independent method i.e. there are no dependencies to other methods. Any previous communication with the client and server is not maintained and thus the whole process is very much simplified. If any information or metadata used earlier in required in another method, then the client sends again that information with HTTP request. HTTP protocol and REST web service both shares the feature of statelessness. Cons In every HTTP request from the client, the availability of some information regarding the client state is required by the web service. What are the important testing tools for web services? There are many testing tools available for web services. Some of the web services testing tools are SOPUI Pro SOE Test SOAP Sonar Test Maker 
API Fortress HTTP Master Postman HPQTP VREST WebInject Jmitter Tricentis Pyrostist Ping API What is the use of options method? It is used over for all the operations of a web service supports. It creates read-only requests to the server. What are HTTP status codes in REST API? Some of the HTTP status codes and meaning. 200, it means OK or success. 201, it means created for a resource, is created inside a collection response for post requests. 202, it means accepted, it is used for actions response for delete requests. 204, it means no content. 301, it means moved permanently. 302, it means found, it is a common way of performing URL redirection. 303, it means see other. 304, it means not modified. 307, it means temporarily redirected. 400, it means bad request client side error. 401, it means unauthorized. 403, it means forbidden. 404, it means not found client side bad URL. 405, it means method not allowed wrong HTTP method. 406, it means not acceptable. 412, it means precondition failed. 415, it means unsupported media type. 500, it means internal server error. 501, it means not implemented. What is payload? In RESTful web service, request body of every HTTP message includes request data called as payload.it is part of the message is of interest to the recipient. What are the head get, options, trace methods? These methods are defined to be safe, this means to not alter the state in the server. Do you know get request to be used instead of put to create a resource? The put or post method should not be used to create a resource. You can use the get operation which has view only rights. How to create custom key into header? We can create custom key into REST API request header and assign to request object that can be accessed from request header object onto the server. Can you define HTOS? HTOS stands for hypermedia as the engine of application state. It is a key constraint in REST that is often overlooked. Basically, every response describes how the API can be used by providing the ORIs for allowable actions within each response. Which markup languages are used in REST API? XML and JSO. What is the difference between monolithic, SOA and microservices architecture? Monolithic architecture. It refers to a traditional unified model for designing software as a single unit. It is similar to a big container wherein all the software components of an application are assembled together and tightly packaged. SOA, service-oriented architecture. It is an architectural style that supports service orientation in SOA. A number of services communicate with each other in one of two ways, through passing data or through two or more services coordinating an activity. Microservice architecture. It is an architectural style that structures an application as a collection of small autonomous services modeled around a business domain. How does microservice architecture work? Various clients send requests from different devices. Identity providers then authenticate the client's identities and issue security tokens. API Gateway manages the client requests. Management tool checks the balance of services on nodes and the failures as well. Static content keeps all the content of the system. Service discovery acts as a guide to find the route of communication between microservices. Remote services enable remote access information. Content delivery networks are distributed network systems of proxy servers and data centers. What is the difference between SOAP and REST? SOAP stands for Simple Object Access Protocol. It is used to exchange data between different platforms easily. It has a specification and WSTL file that has information about the location and function of the web service. It uses a service interface to expose its functionality to the clients. 
REST is an architectural style pattern to create a RESTful web service. It uses normal HTTP requests to receive requests the resource on the web. REST uses SOAP as an underlying protocol for the creation of web services as it is just an architectural design. What are best API testing tools? SOAPUI Postman Jmita Karate Apigi REST Ashod Postwoman PowerShell Insomnia Pyrus Test Citrus Framework Cutlow Studio Zero Code Mockbin